city mayor responding to concerns over the cleanup of a homeless camp that seems to be right back up where it started. Daniel Woodruff has been following the story from the beginning. And Daniel, what's the latest from Rio Grande tonight? Well, Mark, we got our hands on an email from the manager of the Gateway Mall here. He wanted to know if the Rio Grande camp is supposed to be closed, then why does it look like that? Already a line of tents again just a day after it was closed. Today I asked the mayor that very question. When you talk about closing a camp, people assume it will be closed. Were you surprised at what it looks like yesterday, today? It's disappointing. It's not entirely surprising. Salt Lake Mayor Aaron Mendenhall defends the city's approach to dealing with homelessness. The city is doing everything we can do. Even as this encampment on Rio Grande Street sprang back to life almost immediately after crews cleaned it up Thursday morning. Trying to keep that place clean and keep that area clean after all those efforts go in is a tremendous effort uh, that we aren't able to do by ourselves as a city. In an email, the Gateway Mall general manager asked the city why more police aren't in Rio Grande enforcing the closure. The mayor tells me the city council is considering a request for money, some of which could be spent on extra patrols. But a vote won't happen until later this month. That'll be too late for the next camp cleanup next week on the city's fleet block. Are you worried the same thing is going to happen in a week from now? couple blocks south of us. Yes. Despite the challenges of the last two days, Mendenhall says the city won't enforce the no camping rule, at least right now. The city's philosophy really is to not criminalize homelessness. We can't be holding a ticket as the, the hammer, so to speak, to get them to take up services. This is obviously a long-term issue, a complicated one. The mayor tells me that she's working on a proposal right now for a community of tiny houses in the city that could be completed by November. She also says she's waiting for the appointment of the new state homelessness coordinator. She tells me homelessness is a statewide issue. She'd like to see the state take a little more ownership of it. Live in Salt Lake City, Daniel Woodruff, 2 News. Daniel, thanks.